You ready, spaghetti? I'm ready, spaghetti. Oh. All right, motherfuckers, it's on to the albondigas yes. or meatballs. Um, in here, I have some organic ground beef. Traditionally, it can be beef and pork, but bottom line, bitches, I got beef today. Inside, we're going to put one egg. I have about two and a half tablespoons of um, breadcrumbs. I'm using gluten-free panko. Oh, Oh, I'm so fancy. Oh, just panko. And I've got my um, parsley here chopped up, a big handful. That's going in. And I have about two cloves of garlic grated. Now, this is when we're going to take the shit Spanish, you guys. So, pimenton. Here, pimenton. Like here, paprika. Like paprika. So, this is, this is smoked paprika powder. The fucking smoked paprika. Okay. Um, there's varying degrees because there's sweet smoked paprika, there's regular smoked, pa smoked paprika, then there's hot, muy picante. And, um, <laughs> this fucking is beyond picante. This is very, very hot, pimenton. But this is actually from Spain, is it not, honey? Yes, yeah, exactly, yep. And yep. la chinata? La chinata. Yeah. Ah, la chinata. It's Brought nice. to you by La Chinata. <laughs> okay, so if you got the hot stuff, a lot of recipes call to use the hot, regular, and sweet. Well, I'm worried because I don't remember where I put the sweet. So I'm just going to use a small teaspoon of the smoked, uh, hot smoked in there. I'm actually going to also add some, just a couple chili flakes. Um, and I'm going to add, while my honey's searching, I'm going to add some salt. Oh my lord, some salt. <laughs> the mail just came. Some salt, some pepper, and some olive oil. And bitches, this is Spanish olive oil. Don't worry, guys. Everything's fine here. So we managed to find, so I've got a teaspoon of hot smoked, and then I'm doing another teaspoon of just sweet smoked. The paprika is what's going to give it that really authentic, authentico Spanish flavor. Mm -hmm. And um, guys, guess what? I'm just going to get my hands in there because how else are you supposed to mix the meatballs together, really, right? Mm -hmm. Once it's all mixed, I'm going to form them into uh, small, ba small balls. <laughs> Ooh, small balls. Um, but yeah, pretty small, pretty like bite size, you know, because we're doing tapas, guys. Tapas. Mm -hmm. Well, honey, do we know, what does tapas mean? Tapa is a lid. Lid? Yeah, and do you want me to tell why it's called tapas? Oh, because you put it over your drink, right? Yeah, you know, in Spain there were so many flies. Right. And there were so many flies that always with your drink, you know, you put a lid on it. Right. So the, mask, the flies cannot go inside. And over that, you put a little bit of food, you know? Because right, it, then to, you hold, to hold it down. Okay, I'm just gonna wash my, I'm just washing my hands. Okay, everything's mixed together, and now I'm forming them into ping pong, about ping pong size Ball. little balls. Mmm, the smell's outrageous, you guys. If you need to buy smoked paprika just for this recipe, you're gonna end up starting to put in everything. <laughs> and at the same time, I've got the timer going for our, what are they guys? There are our date wrapping bacon. <laughs> I can remember. Everything's fine. Let's see what's happening. Holy shit. Oh, okay. it's start to be crispy. Yeah, but I, in my opinion, you need a little bit more. I would say I'm gonna put yeah. them back in for another five minutos. Cinco, cinco minutos back in La Horna. <laughs> El horno. <laughs> oh yeah, the smell, you guys, the garlic, the parsley, the paprika. My bet this is. Okay, this thing's sizzling now. So I'm getting my balls in there. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get them balls in there and I'm gonna get them crispy on all sides. And the best part is um, when you have these in Spain, they come out in a little dish that's straight from the oven. And because uh, guess what? These balls are not done. These balls are gonna be in some tomato sauce that is just delicious. 
So stay tuned. Right back after the commercial break, uh, I will be by the magic of television. <laughs> Oh my god, the smell is outrageous! So you guys, this all in here, this is the beauty. Because now we are making the sauce for the um, meatballs in the same pan. So do not clean it out. Keep all the brown bits, keep all the oil. Inside we're going to put a Spanish onion, some fire roasted tomatoes, some more spices. I got fennel, bay leaves, oregano. So set that aside. Just starting the sauce for the um, meatballs, but the dates wrapped in bacon have just been calling my name. And I'm like, ah, fuck it. I better eat this ASAP. <laughs> oh, I see. The umami. The date is so soft and sweet, and the bacon is crunchy and salty. I could honestly eat a hundred of these. Sorry, honey. Date nights cancel. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Oh, I'm gonna wash that down with some sangria. Mmm. Yum. Okay. Back to the meatballs. Mmm. Back to the meatball. In my pan. I've taken the meatballs out. To that, I'm adding one Spanish onion, finely diced. So to the to the onion, I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic, salt, pepper, bay leaf, chili flakes, dried oregano, and fennel seeds. Okay, bitches, we've got our dates and bacon done. We've got our meatballs almost finished. We're just waiting for the sauce. Now it's time to make our Spanish tortilla. So it's funny how many people get this mex mixed up, <laughs> messed up with Mexican tortillas, but it's tortilla and it's eggs, onion, and potato. Mandolin. I will be using the mandolin today because fuck it, makes my life so much easier. If you don't have a mandolin, you're just going to cut your potatoes in thin circles. So I have my mandolin on the thinnest setting. What do you think? Is that too thin? Okay. That's good. Okay, guys, so through the magic of television, stay tuned. Um, I've got my olive oil heating up back there, and it's an obscene amount of olive oil you use, guys, but don't worry, you're not gonna ingest it all. You're basically frying the potatoes and onions. You're gonna remove them from the pan, remove the oil, then put everything back with the eggs. So don't freak. Everyone's like, oh my God, I can't eat that much oil, but you're not actually gonna eat it. So into the, and slide, and into the pan we go. Right, honey? Yeah. They need to be swimming in olive oil, bitches. So, you know what? He's fuck making a fryer. In the yeah, fryer. fuck that, I'm opening the top. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. Oh, okay, you guys, you want your potatoes swimming in the olive oil, okay? Don't worry, like I said before, you're not gonna be ingesting, so everyone just fucking chill out. This is just to cook them to perfection. In case you missed it, the reason why you wanna just shimmy these around is you don't wanna break the potatoes, like could just disintegrate. So while they're there, I'm just gonna add um, the onion to them and keep it on the top, right, love? Yeah. Just like that. Ooh, we're just making like a little potato and onion, little marriage here. Just like me and my honey mm. together. Mm -hmm. Same, same, but different. <laughs> you guys, testing, testing, is this on? Note to self, the reason you get a lot of oil in this is so everything's in a bath, so you don't have to move it around too much so everything doesn't disintegrate. So that is something we all needed to learn to make our Spanish tortilla. To my potatoes and onions, bitches, I'm adding some salt and a little bit of pepper. Okay, and then I'm going to keep shaking it. This is going to be cooking for about 15-20 minutes because by the time we take the potatoes out, ditch the oil, put everything back with the eggs, the only thing we're cooking is the eggs. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Okay, now comes the time. We've been here about 10, just over 10 minutes. So I'm gently 
taking the potatoes. I want to do a couple more than that at a time. <laughs> Flipping over. Flipping this shit over gently because we do not want to break these potatoes. Ooh, you can see they're getting a bit brown. Yeah, that side is done. It's that perfect. side's done. Work in progress. Work in progress. WIP, motherfuckers. Whoopsies. Oh, my Lord. That's, those are done, baby. Right. But we need the other side to get done, don't we? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're getting to the good shit. So we have had these on one side for 15 minutes and on the second side for about 7 to 10 so I'm not looking for them all to be brown, just cooked through. Now I'm taking a slotted spoon. You could also use a colander, but I thought for today we could just do it like this. And I'm taking them out and I'm letting the oil drain. And I'm putting the potatoes and onions in a separate, separate, so easy. I love cooking on camera. No stress, everything's fine. Okay. Oh my God, it's hilarious that just so simple ingredients can smell so awesome. And um, does it make you feel like home, baby? Yeah, there's nothing more Spanish than tortilla de patata. Tortilla de patata. <laughs> I love the way the Spanish people talk. Okay, so once we've done this, once we get them all out of the oil, we're going to get rid of this oil. In here, I've got eight to 10 eggs, beaten within an inch of their life. Add a little bit of salt. Now we're gonna add our cooked potatoes and onions in very, very gently. And once they're added, we're gonna take them back to our hot pan and cook that bitch. Now go to the pan. <laughs> okay. And dump, right? Yes, boy. So Everybody once you, to... oops, there's some parsley. Once it's in the pan, you want to get it all laying down flat. And we're still being gentle, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's perfect. Okay. Okay, three. Okay, you guys, you can see it's all getting cooked around the edge. I lifted it up. It's got a crust on the bottom. Now I'm putting this lid on top and you're going to pray for me. Lid on, pray. One movement, yeah. One good. movement. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Lid off. Okay. Ooh, that... And now slide. <laughs> okay. You have to be one movement. Don't be scared. Yeah. Put... Okay, perfect. <laughs> Don't be scared. Edges. So we're going to tuck it back That's in. That's it, yeah. Okay, time. Fuck yes! <laughs> you guys, would I be lying? Would I be lying if I told you I made this before? Yes, I would. This is my first time. It's not my first time eating it though. So let's see how it's turned out. Please God. That's perfection, baby. Is it? Yeah. Okay, one for my honey. That's what we're looking for, guys. Sorry, I'm gonna do this, but I yeah, need to you're get... looking for the crust on the outside, and it's still soft and juicy on the inside. And it will be better if you let it rest. Yeah, yeah. Have... At least one hour. Exactly. After you take it off, you're gonna let it rest before you cut into it anything, and it's all gonna continue to cook and come together. Yum! Yum! Oh, do guys, the tortilla, the tortilla. I've let it sit. In Spain, they actually serve it at room temperature, but I don't care about that today. <laughs> oh my God. I'm instantly transported back to Spain. Three simple ingredients, life-changing. Let's review for a dinner tonight, anniversary Spanish style. Spanish style meatballs and tomato sauce, bacon wrapped dates. I've got some Spanish olives, some sangria, and I got my honey. Mm. Mm. I want to say big thank you all for joining me here today. It means a lot. I fucking love doing this. So do not forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, tell all your friends. The Sarah Mashansky Show, your destination for food, fashion, and inspiration. Fucking rights. Happy Friday, everybody. Love you.